Securities Licenses for Financial Advisors Your Ultimate Guide to the Most Important Ones Financially advising clients or selling securities requires a license. The Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, or FINRA, mandates specific licenses depending on multiple factors, including the advice being given, the type of financial transaction, and the category of securities being offered for sale. Whether you are a financial advisor or a client being offered financial advice, make sure the responsible party holds this key securities licenses. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I'm very happy to have you today. I hope you are doing marvelous. If you're doing as marvelous as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea. Or a bath cup or let's roll. Today, I want to talk to you about securities licenses for financial advisors and the most important ones. Now, number one, Series 3. Now, Series 3 license is for those who want to sell commodities, you know, specifically commodity future contracts. Right, so this license is more specific than series six or seven and generally reserved for those who specialize in selling commodity futures. All right, you have to understand that the, the National Commodities Futures Exam is from the National Futures Association, the NFA, but it is administered by FINRA, right? So it costs about 130 bucks and lasts for two and a half hours. Now, the series 31 license is like a subset, if you will, of the Series 3 license. So it allows you to sell futures managed funds. All right, so that's what Series 3. Series 6. Now, if you have the Series 6 license, you can sell investment products that include mutual funds, variable annuities, variable life insurance, unit investment trusts, municipal fund securities, for instance, you know, like uh, 529 savings plans, you know. Now, finance professionals may get this license, but also insurance agents must also have it if they sell variable life insurance and annuities. Now, so if, you, if you're looking to get the investment company and variable contract product registration, you will need to pass the Series 6 exam as well as the Securities Industry Essentials SIE exam. So the series six exam is one and a half, one and a half hour long, and cost forty bucks. Series seven. Now, if you're trying to get the general securities representative registration, you'll need to pass the SIE exam as well as the series seven exam. Now, this license gives you permission to sell much more than a series six license, almost any type of security including public and private stock stocks and bonds mutual funds money market funds etfs uits right unit investment trust real estate investment trust REITs, hedge funds government securities direct participation uh, participation programs tpps securities traders options on mortgage-backed securities venture capital rights warrants repos and certificates of accrual on government securities sale of municipal securities so basically the series 7 is more comprehensive right so this is very good now this series is best for stockbrokers i'm talking about series 7 here but some financial planners and advisors as well as insurance agents also get it the series 7 exam is almost four hours long and costs 245 so you can see that it's so important it is so valuable that it costs more and and lasts longer right so series seven four hours long and uh, 245 in 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 uh, fees series six 40 bucks and lasts only 90 minutes i say only <laughs> and series three cost 130 dollars and lasts for two and a half hours i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I am very happy to have you today. I'm talking about, I'm talking today about the FINRA Securities Licenses 
and I'm just trying to tell you the most important ones you, you might want to consider if you want to boost your career or and move up the ladder. Now, if you love the clarity and content, the clarity and quality of the content I'm sharing with you today, please consider subscribing to uh, the Sweetie Kiwi Show and uh, turn on the notification bell. The Sweetie Kiwi Show releases a program every single day, rain or shine, and we are able to interact more, more quickly, more permanently with our, you know, expanding uh, viewership. You want to share a like and comment on this show if you feel like it. Now. The next securities license is called Securities Industry Essentials. Now, this was formerly known as the Series 62, but uh, now the, 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 this license authorizes you to trade everything from corporate bonds and equities to preferred stocks as well as some asset-based securities, right? The good thing is that once you have that, your, your clients can be confident that you have passed the series 62 exam or the SIE, SIE exam, right? And, and because you have, you also have the knowledge of security analysis and characteristics, bond markets, industry regulations, handling customer accounts and corporate equities, right? Now, the CIE, the SIE exam is a co-requisite of the series six exam. So though, though applicants aren't required to take the SIE exam before the series six, it's encouraged because both the SIE and Series 6 are required to receive the Series 6 license and registration, which is why I said it's a co requested. Now, the SIE exam is one, 105 minutes long, an hour and 45 minutes, and costs $60. Series 63. If you are a stockbroker or someone who wants to sell stocks, bonds, mutual funds or annuities you will need a series 63 license now this was formerly known as the uniform securities state law exam this is required by each state and you also need to have the series 6 and 7 licenses so to get the 63 you need to get the 6 and 7 first now the series 63 focuses on the ethical and fiduciary obligations that one must uphold as an investment professional okay now the uh the 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 organization that handles the, the licensing requirements for this is called the nasa the north american securities administrators association n-a-s-a-a not nasa not the uh the the shuttle the shuttle agency <laughs> if you will so six series 65 now the Series 65 license, also known as the Uniform Investment Advisor Law Examination, is fantastic for financial planners, advisors, or others that provide financial advice, right? So, um, you know, if you're a stockbroker or someone who handles managed money accounts, you will also need this license. Okay, so this exam was created by NASA, by the NASA, all right, that I just talked about. Series 66. Now, the Series 66 license, officially called the Uniform Combined State Law Examination, essentially combines Series 63 and 65, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that if you already, if you already have 65 and 63, those licenses, you don't need to take the Series 66 exams. However, if you haven't, you can skip taking two exams and instead take one. The Series 7 exam is a co-requisite, all right? Now, um, the uh, experts suggest that you want to set aside somewhere from 75 to 100, sometimes 125 hours of study time before taking the test, right? Because, uh, you know, it, it, it requires that level of commitment, right? So most people with the full-time jobs can break this down into four to eight weeks of study sessions. Now the last, the last series, the last securities license you need to to to, to think about is very important is series seventy nine. Now this exam, also known as the investment banking representative exam, aids for financial professionals who deal with mergers and acquisition, asset sales, financial restructuring, debt and equity offerings, tender offers corporate reorganizations, 
business combination transactions. So to get the investment banking representative, you will need to pass the SIE exam as well as the series 79 exam. All right. Now the series 79 exam is two and a half hours long and costs 240, $245. So those who pass the exam can work as entry level investment bankers. All right. I will see you right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweaty Kiwi. And, uh, you know, just to kind of give you the context of today's conversation, we're talking about, we've talked about securities licenses for financial advisors, your ultimate guide to the most important one. And because financially advising clients or selling securities requires a license, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority or FINRA mandates specific licenses depending on multiple factors, including the advice being given, the type of financial transaction, and the category of securities being offered for sale. Whether you are a financial advisor or a client being offered financial advice, make sure the responsible party holds this, this key security securities licenses. W what are those? You have eight of them. Series 3, Series 6, Series 7, Securities Industry Essentials, Series 63, Series 65, Series 66, and Series 79. All right. Now, let me just kind of give you a call to action here. The bottom line, the bottom line is that if you are a financial professional looking to work for a firm or a firm agency or other type of financial companies, make sure you get specific licenses for your specialty, right? Because for investors, it's paramount to know what you the financial expert specializes in it should also give you peace of mind knowing that you've passed specific exams to prove that you are an expert in the field right so this is very important now serious licensing is one of many factors you want to consider as an investor when you're choosing a financial advisor to manage your money all right so you want to google online you want to go online and Google and find advisors in, uh, in your neighborhood you can use. There is a tool on the SEC website, www.sec.gov, that allows you to know the advisors in your area and always ask them what series they have, what securities licenses they have, and you can compare that with the kind of needs you want. All right, I will talk to you another time. And I appreciate your attention. And uh, until then, stay. Marvelous. <laughs>